Hello, oh, this is Dave Venyert. This is the Ledger Sprint 3 demonstration. Uh, in Sprint 3, we mostly focused on the CouchDB prototype that I showed last time. Uh, and we've uh, cleaned up some of the code to the point where it can be checked in to the fabric. And I wanted to show you the work items that this is uh, being done under. First one is Fab 728, Pluggable State Database, Initial Implementation for CouchDB. And if you scroll down, you can see the two uh, Garrett change sets uh, that include this work. Uh, these are in feature convergence right now, but we'll be porting them over to the master branch uh, before we merge them in the next few days here. Uh, and then we also have uh, Fab 729. Uh, this is to get the CouchDB installation into the Vagrant environment, and we've done this through a Docker image. And you can see uh, what was done in terms of the, uh, the Garrett change set down here. Uh, and what, what is delivered in this change set is actually a script, uh, CouchDB script, that can start and stop the CouchDB database. And what this does, if you haven't uh, run the CouchDB start before, it will actually download the Docker image automatically, start the Docker image, and then start the CouchDB process within it. So let's take a look at uh, some of the key components here. Um, we don't yet have a runtime config option, so the config uh, option to use CouchDB still has to be turned on in the code. And that's through this file, kvledgerconfig.go. And there's a variable here, use CouchDB. We'll set that to true. This is the feature toggle to turn on. Uh, to switch, it, switch it from RocksDB to CouchDB for the state database. And there's a uh, new implementation of the CouchDB interface here. Uh, we have things like uh, the save doc and the uh, read doc implemented. Uh, so these end up um, calling the, the REST APIs of CouchDB to um, get a document or save a document. And a document in our case is uh, the, the variable that has come from chain code in JSON format. Okay, and then to show you what was done for the Docker image, it's over here in this uh, devmv tools CouchDB script. And you can see in here there's things like uh, CouchDB start and CouchDB stop that you can do. So let's give it a try. Uh, we'll do CouchDB start. And you can actually do this uh, from any directory under the fabric. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the CouchDB container uh, was already there and it has restarted it. And we can verify that uh, if I go over to my browser that is pointed at uh, the CouchDB service. And I can see that uh, I can in fact get to it and there's no documents in this database. Uh, for this initial demonstration, we create a Marbles app database that's hard-coded right now into the code, uh, but we'll make that configurable in the future. Okay, and then we are here in the uh, Marble example directory, and we're going to uh, go run Marble example.go. And if you uh, saw the last demonstration, you'll see that this is going to create a marble, and then it'll have another transaction to transfer a marble from Tom to Jerry. So let's see that. Okay, so there's a lot of trace uh, written out here, but we can see if we scroll up that we entered the create marble and if you follow all the trace you can see it is simulated and then committed using a mock um, committer and then we have the transfer marble that will transfer the marble from Tom to Jerry and you can watch the JSON as it goes and you can see here was the marble assigned to Tom and then later on it is uh, transferred to Jerry, and we can see the owner has been transferred to Jerry.
Okay, let's switch back over to the CouchDB UI. And you can see that uh, if we click all documents again to refresh it, uh, we can see there is a uh, Marble One document out there now, and it is in fact owned by Jerry. So the transfer has gone through. Okay, now all this uses a standalone uh, Marble example right now. One of the things we'll be doing in Sprint 4 is integrating this work into the overall end-to-end -end transaction flow of version 1. And I'll switch over to the uh, ledger board so you can see what we're going to be doing in, in Sprint 4. Uh, we're working to, uh, you can't see the full name here, but use the couch D, uh, ledger couch DB uh, as part of the full end-to-end -end flow. Uh, we're also trying to understand, let's see if I can expand this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're also evaluating the uh, performance and security considerations with CouchDB to make sure it's going to be viable for our use cases. Uh, and then I wanted to let you know one other thing we're looking at in Sprint 4. Uh, we're looking to replace RocksDB uh, as the default embedded uh, state database uh, with another key value data store. So there's some licensing issues with RocksDB that um, causes us to want to look for another uh, key value data store to replace that as the default, uh, keeping in mind that CouchDB will be uh, a, an optional feature in version 1 if you want a queryable state database. Uh, most likely that will be a uh, experimental feature in version 1. Okay, thank you. That was the Sprint 3 demonstration. Uh, we'll see you next time.